What's too bad about that, too, is that as a policy, they tend to do this united front. That's really uh, uh, speaks to the, the very poor relationship that the towns have with the school committee um, in terms of talking about anything. So I always... To me, local politics is about relationships and it's about talking to people about their issues. So the school committee will take a position, they'll vote it, it'll be unrealistic, we'll try to meet with them to have a conversation about it, Right. they won't really engage us, they won't talk, or they might a little bit, but they have their sound points, their talking points, but I never hear from anybody outside of a meeting. The chairman of the school committee doesn't call me up, or no, I know the people on the school committee sure. are friendly with them. I see them around town. They never engage me to have a discussion about what their position is, and that's always, always, I think, a mistake because they want something from the town, right? But yet their approach is to put forward this united front and try to to bully the town into capitulating. They got and, hostages. They right. got kids, right? The and, what and, they, it, and they do it for the children, right? Which, which I'm not, I'm not going to question the sincerity of that. If they believe no, it, if they great, believe it, then they think it's sincere. Then it's sincere to them. It's just but a great political position to have, though. It's a bad, but it, their tactics are, are their their tactics are, are always the same. And I think getting new people on that committee, especially people that you know, it, maybe I disagree with Dave Beard politically. Maybe he gets on that committee and has a similar viewpoint. I don't think he will, but maybe he does. At least he's going to engage me and try to have a communication with me about it, and we'll try to find common ground. It won't be we're going to cross our arms and, and, and stamp our feet, and we're not going to, you know, we're not going to have any sort of dialogue or debate about it. By the way, Aaron Burke just acted that out. So for those of you who want to check this out later on YouTube, you can. He just did it across my arms and stamp my feet here in the studio. Yeah, Aaron, I was holding my breath too. <laughs> this is not unique to uh, to your community, though. Uh, what was the what did the governor say to you one time when you met with Charlie Baker? Yeah, so Charlie Baker was running for governor. He wasn't yet the governor, and he was speaking in Plymouth um, to the um, Plymouth Chamber of Commerce, and he was there as a candidate, and I said, geez, I, I want to go talk to him because I knew he was a selectman. Right. And, uh, so Swamp he, Scott, I think. Right? Yeah, so after the fact, um, he was out doing an interview um, for a magazine or a newspaper or something, and I, and I said, geez, Mr. Baker, I'd love to just chat with you a little bit and introduce myself. And I was actually there with, with Mitzi Holland, back uh, selectman in my town. And um, he said, we introduced ourselves, and he said, let me guess, you're fighting with the schools. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> and so it's, it's, I think it's, a, it's a, an issue that is, is systemic within, within the, um, the framework of how the government's set up. I mean, the, yeah. the, that local control.